Hello everybody, hello Pachons, how's your farming life going on? I'm Irfan Sakaki, welcome to my YouTube channel, Can Do Right. Uh, I was playing uh, Roots of Pacha yesterday uh, when I uh, noticed that many changes put into the game after I played uh, the beta version last time. Uh, then I started to compare uh, my uh, previous videos, my old videos out of the beta version with the current game, with the main game. It was uh, incomparable and uh, I was really excited i can't uh, even talk about my feelings but uh dying from all surprises i made this video for you guys to only cover a few uh, to only cover a few changes that might be interesting to you so let's get started and see what is new Number one, character creations. If you haven't played the beta version, you should know you can now have more than two times options for creating your character. The game has added new body type, hair size, eyes, tattoos, clothes, and shoes. Also, you can change the color of each one. Number two, environment and graphic. The environment, all decorations, inventory, menu, and almost everything are polished considerably, making playing the game more relaxing. It feels like home, guys. This is so fantastic, guys. So fantastic. Number three, better map, bigger fields. You can now see a pin marker for your current missions or ideas on your map. Also, the secondary field is bigger than it used to be. So you don't need to worry about the small space for your plants, sheds, and processors or everything else. You can also buy seeds for trees and, uh, and grow a tree. Okay, number four, new tutorials for beginners and relationships. You can now see more detailed tutorials for different activities. Also, you can get to know villagers and their families or relationships when you talk to them for the first time. Number five, new stores, new items. More villagers can now exchange items with you. For instance, Jizu can sell you clothes, while Ada can make herbal products. I'm pretty excited to discover everything in the game. Number six, more of everything. As you play the game, you'll discover new crops, herbal plants, recipes, animals, pets, fish, accessories, and products you couldn't find in the beta version. My favorite wild animals so far, guys, is these wild Asian lions. They are so well made. I want uh, to befriend them and eat all other villagers. Shall I? This game has everything, guys. Um, when I had to clean my animal shed, it felt like Harvest Moon. It uh, took me back to 15 years ago when I uh, played uh, Harvest Moon on PS1 for the first time. I remember when I uh, had to uh, put food uh, for my animals and uh, it, it, it felt like that. Number seven, new areas, new events, new routes. There are also many changes in some places, such as a one-way shortcut from the cave to uh, get back to the village faster, quickly, which crosses from uh, behind the waterfall, as well as unlocking new cave, uh, new caves, new caves, <laughs> new totems, powers, and challenges. Number 8, new minigames. There are many minigames you can play and enjoy in Roots of Pacha, such as a game called Hand at Bones, or playing a flute for your animals to tame them, or have a racing with other villagers. And number 9, Prosperity. The game's currency in Roots of Pacha is contribution points. You'll need it to buy everything, upgrade your tools, or ask other villagers to work on new ideas. All we needed in the beta version was to sell our products, crops, or harvest by dropping them in this box. But now in the main game, we have a new factor called Prosperity Point, which is the same as research or experience point in other video games. It only goes up and lets you discover and work on new ideas yeah it's a progress for the whole village you know to become civilized to become to grow a civilization I like my country iran which is the oldest country of the world even older than egypt 
and uh, if you haven't uh, had any research on Iran you should know that the Charter of Human Rights was first proposed in Iran by Kurosh Kabir or Cyrus the Great and number 10 the most important one the most amazing content added to the game is my name in the credits I also put a link in the description below guys to direct you to the steam community to see my uh, text based roots of patcha guides so uh, it might be helpful for you guys to make a progress faster in the game thank you for watching this video see you soon Dun 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 d